Hi. In the previous video, we've created a simple blog post rendering variant showing the fields from the blog post using the page content. I have since extended the uh, blog post uh, definition. Let's look at the blog post. And I've added authors in place of the author who used to be a single line text. Now I have the authors field with multi root tree list, which takes the data source from the author subfolder in your website. So underneath data, authors, I have created a bunch of authors. And those authors have fields like first name, last name, bio, pictures, and related media, which is which are links to media items. Now, I want to render that author in my website. So I'm going to refresh this page because it's got some test data that I've created later. So you can see the familiar uh, uh, page content that I had before. I have also added a placeholder so I can put components uh, for testing on my on my blog posts. Um, otherwise, if I didn't have that placeholder, I wouldn't be able to put components. So what I want to do is I want to associate my author in my blog posts by selecting an author from my list. Right, so I have this uh, additional uh, list uh, of authors, and I have assigned, and I have assigned authors uh, to my blog posts. Okay, so let's create a page content rendering variant that will leverage this new structure. Let's create a variant called, called post author. And I want to add a couple of styles to that, uh, uh, to that uh, variant so that it has some spacing around it. So I'm going to add indent, which adds indent on the sides, indent top, indent bottom. Those classes will be added uh, to the uh, component when this rendering variant is selected. Now, on this, I need to go, I can't simply render the author like I could before through the field, but instead, what I want to do is, let me save that, I want to go to that post and go through the field to the items that are that are linked and then from those items render fields. So I'm going to add a reference and I'm going through the authors field. Now the rendering variant switched content it passed through that authors field. Now I can start rendering fields from my authors. So I'm going to add a, a wrapper around the author name. So I'm going to create, unfortunately, the insert options is, uh, is not present. So I will create it in the root and then move it. and I will move it underneath authors. And my author has a first name. Actually, first I'm going to change this um, wrapper to have an H3 tag. And inside of it, I'm going to, since I'm on the authors, I can start using author field, so uh, first name, and I'm going to make it a span, uh, 
span. Yes, I'm going to add another field for last name. And it's going to be a span as well. There you go. And because I don't want those two to touch, I want to have some space between them. I'm going to add a non-breaking space uh, that is going to be uh, before the uh, that is going to render before the last name. And actually, on my header wrapper, I want to be able to see that it is. Um, uh, that it is a wrapper again, so I'm going to add a style again. Don't do this in uh, your deployment. You need to style it in CSS. I just want to do it to show that uh, distinction. So I'm going to say min height 30 pixels, so it's at least 30 pixels over time. And I'm going to put it, added some background. And it's, again, let's make it subtle. F0, 0, 0, 0. There. Now, let's give it the first try. So I'm going to drop the page content. Because that's the variant, that that's the component that I created. I have my post author rendering variant and you can see that it renders the first name and last name of the author. Now uh, on top of that what do I have? I have a picture so I want to make it visible and it's going to render after the name and I want to render a bio. Again, those are fields that you've uh, that we've seen in the first video. So there is nothing new here. Let's try that. There you go. You can see that I have the first name, last name, a picture and a bio. Now the interesting thing about the reference is that it can go through uh, single item links but it can also go through multi item links. So in case of the post 2 I co-authored it with David and we are both listed uh, here uh, in the authors list. So there is two references references to two items so let's go to post 2 and you will see actually not until I drop a component here and select the variant no wrong variant there you go and you can see that both David and myself are on this uh, on this post, so the reference enumerated through all of the links in that. Now that's very cool. So I went from the post. I went from the post through this uh, authors field into uh, the authors item, and I rendered this first name, last name, bio, and picture. But you can do. Uh, you can do you can go even deeper so in here on my author uh, item I have related media let's go and try to render those related media so I need to go back to presentation and in my post author I want to add let's add some uh, uh, reference and it was called related media. Now this is uh, just a link uh, so I cannot um, I cannot simply go and render that media if I wanted to render it through the um, through the field because those are media items so there is no field for me to render. Luckily for images we have a responsive image 
which will simply if we don't uh, if we don't specify a field name uh, actually even I think if we specify it uh, but it will basically detect that it now renders a media that the item is a media and it will render that media and what I can do is I can say you know what I want it to be uh, I want it to be uh, 64 pixels wide so let me save that and let's refresh that so you can see that on my Adam author I had four related media but actually on David I have no related media so that didn't get rendered now let's go here and let's add some images for David oh, that's not an image and let's refresh that page now David has those media listed in here obviously uh, you don't want to again you don't want to give this uh, you don't want to make the author to uh, add this on every single page so we can remove that one and go to our post one and remove that here as well And instead, what we should do is we should go into our partial design for blog post partial, which has this uh, layout that we are showing on every blog post page, and drop our page content in here, select the post author, and save. You can see that this one is empty. You don't have to worry about it. Well, it does uh, disappear in here, uh, but uh, it disappears because there is no field to actually go through, so it cannot, uh, it doesn't have anything to render. However, when I will go to the home item and, whoops, and go to my post one, you can see that the data is here, the component is here, and in here where we got two authors, the components in, uh, is here. So on my post, I have those authors, and those authors can have related media, so you can recursively dig out this stuff. So I can go here and add yet another author, save it, and you will see that now we have actually three authors. Yep. That's it for the reference. See you in the next video.